some sort of leather sewing for over 10 years. And I've come to the point where I'm starting to do some leather quilting because I just couldn't stand throwing away all this extra leather after making, you know, vests or garments or anything like that. And so it was really hard to join all this because of all the pieces. The amount of joining was just, you know, these are four and a half inch squares. And it's a 19 by 19 quilt top. Um, these squares and oh, just think about the project. They slip a lot. And if you don't, if you have two shiny pieces next to each other, it's just really great to have this. You get a really good seam. You know, it makes it wonderful. And whoop, off they go. Yeah, they get so I love it. I use it on my leather projects. Um, we we're putting a faux alligator. Um, together with a matte finish. This is actually a maroon, but it looks a little brown right now. But when you get it in the quilt, it'll look great. These work wonders. There's no pinning. You can't really pin leather. Let's face it, at our ages, it's anything that makes anything easier, it's well worth the money. What are you do? Trying to pin or pull staples out of this thing? Oh, that's two staples per piece. And these are 19 pieces long. Oh, how many staples would you be pulling out? I'd be pulling out my hair. Oh. Oh. But yeah, the get a grip sewing clip really helps out. And you can put it in anything, it's great. They hold up. It's an old enamel cup. Had them in here, all these two, two um, sets, all in here. You see they're all over my table, and I've had them here, um, god, six, nine months now. Not a chip. Not a ding, not a dent. They've hit my, they've hit this thing. This is a, an industrial sewing machine. They're wonderful. Get a good sign clip definitely cuts construction time. What I'm doing is just testing the leather since they're scrap pieces of leather. You have to figure out which one's the dominant and which one's the passive, so which one's the thinner and which one's the thicker leather really. And then once you get that, you can actually the clip just goes right on and holds it there for you. It's a good half inch in, which is really nice because if you get a thick, you know, these are really, really thick pieces of leather and fabric to put together. Um, which is good to know, especially if you're putting together a quilt or something where you're having quite a bit of batting or something in the edge and you need something that's going to hold up and open really wide enough to get it on there. Without having to shove a pin through it all. And when you first start doing it, it takes a little bit to get it together and check the how it's going to go, but I've done two or three of these quilts with these now, and you can almost just guarantee pretty much what's going to happen. Although with fabric, it's much easier because you just butterfly the thing open. Fortunately, that just doesn't work very well, I found, with mismatched leather. Works great with leather that's the same weight, or the same thickness. Um, but not necessarily with 
the odd quilts. So these are very versatile. And they're really good at holding it. From tip to tip. Anyways, you'll see there's a few places where, oh, the leather is a little more stretched than the other piece. So, my goodness, I got two sets of clips. So I can go back and just touch up some of the ones that I know might be a little bit of an issue when I'm putting them through the machine. And there we have it. some really heavy, heavy leathers as you can see here. Where this is much thinner, it's easy to go through. This is much heavier and should be much harder to hold on to and line up. So, there you go. There you go. No problem. doing any adjusting other than just making sure the fabric lays the way it's supposed to when it goes underneath the machine. By the time I get three or four stitches away from that edge, it's pretty much not going to move anywhere. And there you go, I just hit the clip with the machine. This is a, an industrial sewing machine and look, nothing. There you go again. It just seems to bounce right off. It, the foot pushes the clip right away. Just the guy group sewing clubs.